Agnes Christie case. And I had some friends reach out recently and request um, some yoga videos. Since we are still in quarantine or quarantine mode, I guess. So we live in a crazy world right now. So I thought everybody could, or not everybody, but some people might um, need something a little extra or different. Um, maybe something to help with anxiety or the stress levels, um, just whatever your body needs. Um, maybe that's just flexibility, um, just more breath work, just sitting with yourself for a few minutes. So that's my attempt to do uh, in this video. So it's my first one, so <laughs> please forgive me for all my uh, my lack of maybe reverse communication here. So this is just me and we're here. Let's do some yoga together. We're gonna do some breath work um, to start out and we'll do a warm up and some a yoga flow and then we'll cool down and stretch and close out. So um, thank you for joining me for yoga, for your practice today. So in yoga, um, if this is your first time, I'm so glad that you're here with me. Uh, we usually typically start in a seated position. I like to cross my legs. I'm just comfortable that way. Um, when we're calming the mind and kind of getting our mind, body, and spirit all in unison in the beginning of a practice, um, it's good to sit and just breathe. Um, and then we'll breathe together. And we're just trying to quiet the mind and come, come to this moment. So if you'd like to close your eyes, sit tall, make sure you're rooted down in your sit bones, your spine is long, your chin is up, you're looking forward with your eyes closed, so as if you're looking through your third eye, which is about right here above and in between your eyebrows. Close your eyes here, just come to your breath, sit tall, the crown is reaching towards the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. And take some deep breaths here. Just settle in. This is your practice. So I just want to remind you to be safe and listen to your body. And just be aware of the movements and anything you're feeling. And if anything says this doesn't feel good, then just listen to that and react to it as needed. In yoga, um, we practice something called ahimsa, which is non-harming. So this is a moment to be with ourselves, to have compassion for ourselves, and to take this time for ourselves and our practice in this chaotic, crazy world that we live in right now, and just come back to ourselves and honor that because we are all divine beings here, and we deserve that. We all need this time and space to breathe and recenter so that we can be productive, loving human beings out in this world bringing light to it, bringing light to the dark. So in the beginning of our yoga practice, we like to set an intention. And this usually just brings awareness to our practice, what we're here for. So what's your purpose for being here? What do you need? Maybe that's strength work, strength training. Maybe that's flexibility. Maybe just trying to ease up any pain that's in the body. Maybe that's just calming down and getting your zen on with me. <laughs> My husband took the kids out somewhere, so I've got a few minutes here with you. So the intention of my practice is I'm just so grateful to be here with you, and I just want to serve you and try and lead you through something that's helpful. So we're going to start by increasing our breath, deepening our breath. We're going to seal our lips, breathe in through the nose, and breathe out through the nose. And this is called our ujjayi breath. And in this breath, we constrict our throat here. And it's going to sound like the waves of an ocean. So we're going to breathe in and breathe out. So it's an audible sound coming out. And the length of our inhale is... Um, the length of our exhale. We try to match. 
And we try and deepen this breath and see how long we can stretch that breath. So maybe like three seconds, we could try that. So inhale together, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two. Let's go for four. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. So keep breathing on your own. So we're gonna continue that Ujjayi breath throughout our practice. With the breath work, um, I'll be cueing you, cueing us together um, when we start doing more yoga practice and flows. Um, our breath work will match up with our movements, so I'll give you breath, direction, and the name of the pose that we're working on. So let's just inhale, arms up. Look up to the sky, hands together, and exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. One more. Exhale, hands down. Let's place our right hand, our right palm down. Reach up with our left hand, sweeping it over our head. Maybe looking up at the sky, trying to create space on the left side of our body here. Opening up those lungs and diaphragm, getting oxygen flowing through our blood, through our body. Bringing it to those muscles that we need it for. Hand comes down, let's do the other side. Left hand down, right hand up. Lengthening tall through the crown of our head and reaching over, lengthening the side here. Sometimes it's just a little stretching goes a long way. The hand comes down. Let's come up to the center. Sweep the arms up. Hands together. Exhale, hands down. So let's roll out our wrists here. In yoga, we do a lot of work on our wrists. So we're gonna warm up our wrists here. And we're on our phones a lot, maybe. And you can sometimes feel it more in one hand or the other. So in front of us, if you can do this, let's reverse our hands so our fingertips are facing towards our legs and our wrists are facing forward. And here, just go where you feel a good stretch through your wrist and the inside of our forearm here. And just breathe into it. Opening up the underside of our arms and wrists. Imagine push, pushing that oxygen to those spaces that we're working on stretching or strengthening. It's like a visualization. And the more aware you are, and the more you control your breath, the more you focus on where it's going, the more uh, positive effects it has in the practice. Let's roll our shoulders back a few times. Up and down. Releasing that tension around our shoulders. Let's take our right hand on the top of our head and pull it down towards
towards our right shoulder. So our right ear will come down towards our shoulder. And breathe in to the left side of this neck here, elongating it. Maybe you can nod it. Rock your head a little and rest your mind over here. Find what feels good to you. So coming to center, switching sides, left hand will fall left ear towards our left shoulder. Right shoulder is pressing down and away from our head and And if it feels good, you can roll your head slowly from side to side. Maybe just focusing on the front half. So from one ear to the next, our chin is coming down to our chest. Continue breathing. I feel the stretch going down the back of my neck. It's been a couple days since I practiced, so I'm certainly feeling it. Um, from here, let's come up to all fours into table, tabletop. So our knees are right below our hips here in line. Our core is engaged, keeping our belly tight and tucked. Our tailbone is slightly tucked under. Our wrists and hands are directly beneath our shoulders in line, creating a straight line, 90 degree angle here. Our toes, I like to keep my toes tucked here. So we're gonna start with a few rounds of cat and cow. So this is a neutral spine. And then when we drop, this is cow, we slightly tilt our head up, gazing up towards the ceiling. Our belly drops our, towards the ground. Inhale. And then exhale, press it out, rounding out our back, lowering our chin to our chest, and feeling that stretch like a cat stretching. And exhale. And then inhale, let's come up out for cow. Exhale, press it out, round the back for cat. And then just do these a few times. Let's do a few rounds with your breath. Inhale, exhale. This is just warming up the spine, the center, the backbone of our body, very important. And from here, let's place our left palm down on the ground and we're gonna twist open our right hand heading up towards the sky, twisting creating a spinal twist here. This is good to warm up the back. Keep breathing. Gaze is up at the thumb or you can look forward. Right hand coming down, lifting the left hand towards the sky. Twisting the other way. From here, we'll, we're gonna extend our arms down and come into puppy pose. This is like one of my favorite poses because it's just so good. In here, we're trying to lead our chest towards the ground. Our hands are spread apart wide, extending up towards the corners of our mat and just allowing gravity to kind of pull our upper body down. And you can come down to one ear, and just remember to keep breathing. Breath is life in yoga. In life. <laughs> and if you ever need rest at all during this practice, this is a great place to be. You can also lay your glutes on top of your heels and coming back into child's pose. This is another great resting pose. 
And if you have knee problems, knee injuries, you can always place a blanket underneath your knees. Um, just come to a position that feels good for you. Keep breathing. So from here, let's, we're gonna slide our chest down, our whole body down onto our mat, placing our palms beside our chest on each side. Elbows are tucked into the rib cage or to our sides. And we're gonna do a baby, baby back bend and our tops of our feet will also come down. And we press up slightly, lifting our shoulders, rolling our shoulders back, looking forward. Only go as much as you want to. We're just warming up, so be gentle on yourself. And come down. And then take your hands wide. We're gonna kinda do like a rolling, a dynamic baby cobra here. Just allow us to get some kinks out and that's fine. I know mine is pretty tight. It's been raining all day, I've been cooped up inside. Did some journaling and artwork. I was sitting a lot, so my back is feeling a little bit. So come down from here. I'm just gonna show you um, a full cobra here. So we press up, our hands are straight or slightly bent, but you're just coming up higher. It's a deeper back bend, that's essentially what it is. And here, if you wanna take it a step further during our practice, we'll be doing something called an up dog. And that's straightening and locking the arms, pulling them in tight to our sides, rolling our shoulders back, looking forward, and our thighs, see the difference? Our thighs come up off the mat. And so this is an up dog. And this just stretches the whole front side of the body and just feels amazing, I think. <laughs> but if you have any lower back problems, that might not feel good for you. So you can stick to a baby cobra. So from here, let's press up onto our knees. We're gonna come into a modified push-up. So our toes are down, we're on our knees, our wrists are right below our shoulders, our core is engaged. And so we're gonna do a few push-ups here, just a modified version. So let's press down, keeping our elbows tucked into the side so we're working into the triceps. And then exhale, press up. Let's do four more of those. So inhale, press it slowly, going down. Exhale on the way up. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, come up. Let's stretch back into child's pose, just stretch that out. And I just wanna demo the next thing. So we'll come into plank position. Um, you're welcome to join me if you'd like. Come up on our toes. We're trying to create a straight line from the crown of our head down to our heels. Keeping our core engaged, our shoulders are over our wrists, and this is plank pose. So we'll just hold this here, warming up our core, our whole body, and I'm sweating already. If you can, let's do about 15 more seconds. And if you need to release and come down to your knees, you're free to do that. About 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Let's come up on our knees. And come back to center. And take a couple breaths here. We're just sitting on our heels. So from here, we're gonna come into Malasana pose. So here our heels are kind of 
below our glutes. Our elbows are pressing into our knees here and we bring our hands to our heart. And I just love this pose here. It's just an easy sitting pose. Really gets into the groin area, opening that up. We do a lot of yoga pose, poses that require that inner thigh strength and really helps open it up to stabilize our bodies. So if it feels good, you can rock side to side here. And let's extend our right hand out and we'll lift our left hand up towards the sky, getting into a deeper twist than we were before. We now have leverage on our leg here. Inhale, exhale. So let's do the other side. Left hand comes down, right hand goes up. Twisting. Feels so good. Twists are really nourishing to the spine, the spinal column. Helps detox our bodies. here let's just straighten our legs as much as you can and we're gonna widen our feet out so tippy toe your feet wide for a wide legged stance so your feet are parallel with the, your mat here the sides of your mat so inhale let arms come up high to the sky and then exhale let's fold forward flat back our hands come to the mat so you can either Spread your legs far apart enough so where your hands can touch the ground, or you can use blocks here so that you don't have to go all the way down. But if it feels good, you can just let your head fall here, ragdoll, shake your head yes and no. This is a great stretch for our hamstrings. If you'd like, you can clasp your hands behind your back, raise them up. Open up the shoulders and chest. And keep breathing deeply here. Making sure we're getting that blood to our hamstrings. like you can stretch your hands forward inhale halfway lift and then exhale fold forward again if you'd like to go deeper you're welcome to From here, let's come up. You bring your hands to your hips. Kind of, I know that blood is rushing to my head or from my head here, so I'm feeling a little dizzy. So just taking a minute. So inhale, our arms up high, lengthening our spine, and then exhale them down. And from here, we're just going to turn to the front of our mat my left side here, so maybe on your right. From here we're just going to do a couple sun salutations. We'll just do our basic sun salutation today. Add a little bit more heat to our bodies, so our feet are hip width apart. Um, we're, our feet are rooted into the mat, provides some stability, feeling really solid, grounded. Our spine
behind us tall, our crown chakra is reaching towards the sky, our shoulders are rolled back, opening up the chest a little, this is called mountain pose. From here, we're gonna sweep our arms up to the sky, inhale, exhale, flat back, we're gonna forward fold, coming down, our hands coming down to the mat, letting your head fall, your knees can be slightly bent here, Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold again. From here, hands come down to the mat, step back into plank, and lower down through chaturanga. It's just basically a slow tricep push up, come down, and then roll our tops of the feet down. Inhale, press up for baby cobra, or full cobra, and then exhale, let your chest come down. Inhale, press back up into push up. Press our hips high. We're coming into our first downward dog. So here we're making like a pyramid with our body. Our hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Really spreading those fingers, rooting down through our mat. Our hips are lifting high towards the sky. Our head is just falling in between our, our arms. Our gaze is toward our in between our knees or legs. Our feet are planted and our heels are pressing towards the mat as much as we can, really getting a hamstring stretch. Let's pedal out our dog here. If you need to keep your legs bent, that is completely okay. This is your practice. Everybody's bodies are different. We all have different needs right now. So it's definitely okay and wonderful to honor that. And if this is your first time doing yoga, you can feel this a lot in your shoulders. That's awesome. So inhale, we're gonna walk our feet up to our hands. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up to the sky. Exhale, heart, hands to heart. All right, we'll do that two more times, a little faster. Inhale, arms sweep up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, refold. Hands come down, step into plank. Exhale, lower down through chaturanga. Maybe inhale, come up to upward dog or cobra. And exhale, hips come high, pressing back into downward dog. Breaths here. So inhale, start walking your feet towards your hands. And then once they meet, inhale, let's rise halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up high to the sky, reaching high. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, one more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Folding over your legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, refold. Hands come down to the mat. Step back into plank. Lower down to the chaturanga. Scooping the belly forward and up into upward dog. Exhale, pressing the hips back into downward dog. We'll stay there for a few breaths. So inhale, you can step or you can jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Inhale, arms come up high to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna move on to a sun salutation B. It's gonna get a little bit more heat building in here. So on the inhale, we're gonna sit back into chair. So your hips come back, your 
shoulders are back, your spine is straight and tall, crown is reaching towards the sky. Here we're going to raise our hands to the sky, palms facing one another, and our biceps are beside our ears. Holding that here, you want to make sure your knees are not, not like shifting back past your toes. You want to try and make them as um, right above your ankles as much as you can, and you're really trying to sit your glutes back here. So as if you're sitting into a chair, really firing up your quads. A few more breaths. Now it's burning for me, you can come up just a little bit, or you can sit deeper. One last breath here. Inhale, arms come up, straighten the legs. Exhale, forward fold over this leg. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, refold the mat. From here, we're going to step our right leg back onto our toe and then laying that right knee down into like a half lunge, half split. I'm going to place, go onto the tops of my right foot here. So inhale, our hips are going to kind of sink towards the earth here. Raise your hands high to a warrior. Knee down, crescent lunge. Your left knee is straight over your left ankle. Your hips are just really kind of just melting into the floor as much as you feel that you can go. And your right knee and your foot are supporting you, keeping you stable. You really want to lift up through your hips, up through your core, reaching up high towards the sky, yet at the same time, dropping those hips or your pelvic area towards the mat. So you're really feeling like a push and pull effect, like really stretching out this whole area. Breathing deeply, your gaze is forward. So exhale, press back. Coming up onto our left heel, we're straightening the left leg. And inhaling, lengthening our spine, and really stretching.